and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix the Cat. Here we are with the car, upgrading to the tank as soon as the level starts, just like our last time. I'm getting deja vu just thinking about it. And now we start to encounter more trouble. And this is where the st game starts to uh, lose its logic. Like I said, you're looking for logic in a game that's not only a video game, but also Felix. That was part of what was made, made him so memorable, is just the weird, surreal situations he ended up in. I mean, imagine if you could turn your purse into a car, and you didn't work for Capsule Corporation. Oh, crap. I, 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 was, trying, I, I was trying to go back to the start. I knew I wouldn't be able to make that jump. But how am I, how am I gonna make it up to there? Whoa, careful now. Don't hit me, you stupid birds. Angry birds. Oh, that's how I get up there. I have to ride on that bird. Can I, can I get him to respawn? I hope so. I'm trying to attack you with my stars. And you're not letting me. And you're going the wrong way. Okay, trying to get it this time. Ah, what the heck. I, I really want to see what's in that bag up there. Alrighty. There we go. This better be worth it. Better be worth those mo those motorcycles going outside my window. And it's just an area like we were at before. Thought I was going to find some great secret level. I did, I did find two hearts up there, which is pretty cool. Alright. I guess that was sort of worth it. Died like twice trying to get it, but oh well. Like, not like lies are very hard to come by in this game. Okay, don't want to mess up that jump again. I'll, I'll just take the hit, whatever. Like I said, this is where the game really kind of starts to get sort of somewhat challenging. You kind of have to look before you leap. But you can't just fly through if you wanted and just take the hits because Felix is a pretty high. Uh, length of invincibility once you get hit. You land on birds and just keep going and hope you get a heart on your way through. Like now. So just like that. Level is not that tough, but it's starting to get up there. I'm taking a lot more hits than I did when I was starting the game out. So it's a very slow difficulty curve, but near the end it actually does start to get up pretty tough. Why is that guy saying blob at us? Oh yeah, and we get our third type of level, the ocean, the shoreline, top of the ocean, whatever you'd call it, and Felix is in a little inner tube, and he falls asleep. If you stop doing anything, that that's his idle animation. He just falls asleep. And he's always facing the other way. It reminds me of that guy from Samurai Showdown, who's always facing away from the opponents. And if you face this way, he, you, can, you can't really see it there. Let me get to a place without a white background. He face this way, he says Z. Face this way, he says S. And then he dies. Because they can't flip the sprite left and right. Or they flip the sprite left and right, and they you make a rhyme. And then you die. God damn those octopuses. Let me get that fish out of the way, and I, I, I wanted that heart. You're supposed to have a heart there. Yeah, and the current will push you back to the left constantly in this level. Some milk. Kill that bird. Get up here. Oh, great. I need the heart. I want to see what the power-up is for this level. Ah, no! I want to go back in there. Ah, I can't go back in. Damn it. Oh, well, I get a heart here. We get a dolphin. Yes, the bag actually becomes a sentient creature. Can the dolphin mate with other dolphins? I don't know. If they could, he could turn... Maybe that's why the scientist wants his bag. He wants to try to repopulate, like, pandas or polar bears or something that's worth saving, like walruses. That'd be pretty cool. You could turn your bag into a living creature and you'd have your own pet. Then why wouldn't you need to go fishing for another pet? I don't know. He's a, he's a cat. He shouldn't even be eating fish. I'm rambling at this point. But yeah, this... Top of the water levels only have two levels of power up. You either have the inner tube or you have the dolphin. The dolphin makes the greatest sound though. Squeak. He shoots out a big bubble of noise. 
to add a heart. Nope, Annabelle won't give me anything. I don't think her name is Annabelle, but I'm gonna call her Annabelle. And my hearts are running low. Thankfully, there's another one right there. So just power it up. Yeah, the physics in this section is really weird. If you go down far and you hold down the jump button, you jump up really high, but if you stay up at the top, you jump considerably less high. So you jump up short hop once, and it brings you down to the water. The, the water physics in this game are just, are just... It's so bouncy and it's so great. It's just... I like bouncing. Bouncing is fun in these kind of games. Jumping just seems to be an inherently interesting and fun thing for these games to do. Jumping and bouncing and stuff like that. We'll finish the level up with six hearts. Gives us into our high score, and I think we're going to... Yep, now we're going complete underwater. And this is the fourth and final type of level, the full underwater level. And I'm going to need a power-up very soon, because I these levels get kind of tough. Need to find a heart. These jellyfish, they will try to come after you. Thankfully, they can't go through walls. Little Metroids. Over here, you. Ah, no! Yeah, you can't attack downward with that. Maybe they'll give us a heart this time. A milk, but not a heart. Want a heart from this one? No. What about from this one? No. What about... I'll come from the right side against you. There you go. Ha! Ah, gotta fake him out. There's our heart. And we get our own personal turtle that we ride on. Yeah, there's an endangered species you could turn your bag into to help save. You can save the turtles. Have, go and send them out, have a mate with other turtles, and... Then, of course, you'd have little synthetic, uh... Baby half magic bag turtles. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? It's amazing that when I... It's supposed to be this safe 1920s family kids are cartoon show and it's all surreal and I immediately think about animals having sex with other ones. There we go. Let's upgrade to a freaking personal submarine that's shaped like Felix's head and shoots out octopus shaped missiles. Torpedoes I suppose they would be. Those crabs are annoying. Those, those bubbles will hurt you. And can we get a heart here? Nope, we can get more milk, though. I wonder what graphic designer designed that milk. It's just a big M on it. Maybe it means... Uh, I, I guess it would have to mean milk. I don't know what else M could mean. Oh, those bubbles won't hurt you. Oh, that's good to know. I don't have to kill you, but I will. You guys are annoying me. Yeah, this is where the game actually... You need to start... You can't go quite as fast anymore, because you got to worry about where you're going, where you're going to do, who you're going to kill. you got to worry about these jellyfish guys that are going to try to home in on you, attack you from the side or the top, because it's really tough to attack above you, which is why the Magic Stars make such great weapons. You can actually attack to the side. But we're going to take on the boss with the turtle. You want to see a cat ride a turtle and fight a giant green manatee looking thing that looks like to be the king of pollution or how about you see a turtle turn into a submarine that shoots out squid shaped missiles and the guy says blub at you yeah you ever seen that in a cartoon before I think not and I just lost my powers well, like the last time you want to make sure that he attacks and then run up and punch him and let him blow up he had most of his health gone from when I shot it with the torpedoes but that takes him out that does it. Score a lot of points. We're up to 20, 288,000. Can we get a heart here? No, I can't. Oh, well. Well, that finishes up round four. Let's go for our next cutscene. Ring, ring, ring. I'm getting mad, Felix. I can't control myself anymore. Why do you return home if you're trying to save your girlfriend? Tell me! Tell me before we get into round five! Oh well, we're already in round five and he hasn't explained it. 
When you pause, the stuff in the background still likes to keep going. But that does it for this episode. Next time, we will go into round five, which seems to be a prehistoric or island theme. Awesome. See you next time, folks.